Right, let's look at some statistics here. Uh, if you have the sort of question that says, what is the probability of you getting one head and one tail when you throw a coin? A head and a tail. Or what's the probability of you getting a head and another head when you toss a coin? Uh, a tail and a tail. Well, the easiest way to do that initially when you're starting to learn about statistics is to write a tree diagram. Here's the coin that you tossed. You have the possibility of getting a heads, one side of the coin, or the tail, the other side of the coin. This is a cat's tail, supposed to be. Uh, sorry about the sketch, but it's really not very easy to write very neatly with these pens. Anyway, so once we toss our coin, there we have a chance of 50%, a half a half of the chance of getting a head and half of the chance that we get a tail if it's a natural coin and not weighted or anything like that. Then we could uh, toss the coin again after we've got the first head we could toss it again and then we've got another 50% chance of getting a head and a 50% chance of getting a tail. Then we have <clears throat> if we had a tail first we toss the coin again we could after we've got the tail tail get a new head. There's a 50% chance we'd get a head and a 50% chance we'd get a tail. Now we've cost, tossed the coin twice so the question would be what's the probability of us getting a head and another head? Well when you want two of the same things i.e. you're using the word and that tells you in statistics that you have to multiply um, the two probabilities together. So if you need to first get one head and then another head, you take the first probability, which in this case was one half, and multiply by the second chance that you would have got a second head, another half. So the probability of you getting one head followed directly by another head would be one quarter. Uh, multiplying fractions, cover the bottom two and multiply the top two numbers, one so that you get 1 times 1 equals 1. Then cover the top two numbers and multiply the bottom two numbers. 2 times 2 equals 4. So we get the probability of 1 quarter. If we had instead wanted to look at what is the probability of us getting two tails? Well, two tails would have been exactly the same probability as two heads. The first probability of me getting one tail is a half and another tail is another half. So the probability of two tails would be a half times a half because we need a tail and a tail telling us we need to use the multiply sign equals one quarter. So the probability of uh, two tails would also be a quarter. So we know that this probability is a quarter. We know that this probability is also a quarter. What then about a head and a tail? What about getting different? Uh, so different ends of the coin. Well, if we look at our tree diagram, there's actually two different ways to get different. We could have first got a head followed by a tail. Or we could have got a tail followed by a head. The probability of us getting head tail is, of course, a half times a half. If we've got first a head and then a tail, it's a half times a half. The probability of us getting tail head uh, would have been a half times a half as well. Both of these ones giving us one quarter. But now, <coughs> We could have got either of those probabilities. We could have got first head tail, or we could have got a tail head. So the probability of us either getting head tail or, and here's the keyword here, with adding probabilities or tail head, then we actually have to add these two probabilities. So the probability of us getting a head tail was a quarter, or we could have got a tail head that would have also given us opposite numbers. So we add the two 
individual probabilities together to give us a final probability of getting not the same side of a coin when we flip it. A quarter plus a quarter, we have the same denominator on the bottom, so it's just to add it directly. And then we cover the bottom two numbers and add the top two numbers, one plus one equals two. So the probability of us getting either head or tail or tail or head is simplified to one half. Uh, is this sensible? Well, yes, it is, because the probability of hail Ted is a quarter, the probability of tail, uh, head tail is also a quarter. These two probabilities added together, because we could have gone down either root of the tree, we could have gone this way, or we could have gone this way, is when the probability is, has got two different roots, we add those probabilities together. So the important thing here when it comes to probability is if you want both things to happen or more than that three or four but you've got to have first event one and event two and event three etc etc then we have to multiply the probabilities together always Whereas, if we could either have event 1, and we, or we could have event 2, or we could have event 3, etc., etc., then we add the probabilities. Here we would have a half plus a half possible. Um, or a quarter plus a quarter we, um, to give us the final overall probabilities. That's a quick introduction to probabilities.